And I'll be honest with you, I hope that the message never changes. Amen. I thought we live in a time where we spend more time trying to church the church people than we do get the sinners saved. Amen. I thought I was so proud that Wilma brought that young girl with her the other night. That was exactly what I asked you to do. I, I challenged you to bring somebody. And I thought how she did. And, and that blessed my heart so good. And I hope she enjoyed it. And I hope she heard something that will help her on down the road. Amen. I thought young people today, they've got so much that the world offers them. And whenever you bring them to a church like this and they see Nancy exactly what they have to do, amen, some of them, they, they shy away quick because they don't want none of this. They don't want to give up all those things that make them pretty in their eyes, all that stuff that makes them different in their eyes, amen, but I just want to be different for the Lord. Genesis chapter 6, amen, very familiar scripture. Hallelujah. It said, the earth also was corrupt before God in verse 11. And the earth was filled with violence, and God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt. For all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh has come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make thee an ark of gopher wood, and room shalt thou make in the ark, and shall pitch it within, and without with pitch. And this is the fashion which thou shalt make it of the length of the ark shall be 300 cubits and the breadth of it 50 cubits and the height of it 30 cubits. A window shalt thou make to the ark and in the cubit shalt thou finish it above. And the door of the ark shalt thou set in the midst in the side thereof with lower second and third story shalt thou make it. And behold I even I do bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh. Wherein is the breath of life from under the heaven, and everything that is in earth shall die. Yeah. It said, But with thee will I establish my covenant, and thou shalt come into the ark, thou and thy sons and thy wives and thy sons' wives with thee. And of every living thing of all flesh, too, of every sort, shalt thou bring into the ark to keep them alive and thee. They shall be male and female, of fowls after their kind, and of the cattle of their kind, and every creeping thing of the earth after his thing, two of every sort, shall come unto thee to keep them alive. And take thee, take thou unto thee all of thy food that is eaten, and thou shalt gather to thee, and it shall be a food for food for thee and for them. Thus did Noah according to all that God commanded him. In chapter 7, just real quick, it said, And the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou, and all thy house into the ark, for thee have I seen righteousness before me in this generation. Amen. As I went over this in my mind today, I thought when the Lord gave him the instructions, amen, on how to build the ark, he said, Because the violence of the world, amen, and the wickedness of men that rose up before him, and he was going to destroy every living thing. Amen. I thought. He said everything that had breath under heaven, thank God that he was going to destroy them. Amen. And I thought how that he began to talk to Noah and he told him. He said, with you I found righteousness among you. Amen. And he established a covenant, a promise. Amen. Thank God that he was going to spare him. Amen. And his wife and his children and their wives. Amen. And I thought after all these things. Amen. As Noah was building up the ark, the Bible says. Amen. That he began to preach righteousness unto all them that come by. Amen. Thank God there never been rain upon the earth. Thank God they didn't know what it was. And no doubt they all gathered around to make fun. Amen. Thank God you and I have heard these stories. Amen. We've heard about the Bible. Amen. About how that the Lord's coming back. Amen. Thank God but this time it's not going to be by water. Amen. But it's going to be by fire. Come on down. Amen. As soon as you tell somebody. Amen. That Jesus is coming back. around us. Amen. Thank God they're fighting everywhere all over the world. Amen. Thank God 
up involved in sheep people. Amen. But I thought here we sit in the comfort of our church house. Amen. Amen. If the Lord come back by now, amen, probably everybody in the house say, I'm going to go with him. Amen. But I'm telling you, friend, that there are those, amen, that are out the side of this house. Amen. They've not made it into the ark of safety. Amen. Thank God we've got to tell them that they the Lord are coming back. Amen. He's going to wipe it all out. Yeah. Amen. Thank God everything is going to burn away with a fervent heat. Amen. Amen. But I thought even though the Lord spoke the instructions to Noah, <laughs> Amen, and told him that him and his family was going to make it. Amen. Noah still began to preach to all them that were around. Him. Amen. Thank God I thought it's real easy right now. Amen. Thank God to get kind of discouraged over things. Amen. But I'm telling you, friend, if this becomes more real to you and me, Amen. Thank God we're going to push even harder for our people to get saved. Amen. Thank God whenever this becomes real to you. Amen. If you know that in the morning you can raise up. Amen. Turn your head towards the east. Amen. And see that sky slip wide open. Amen. And see that angel step out. And God has put his foot on the land and sea. And declare the time be no more. Amen. Thank God. What would you be different tonight? Tomorrow was their last day when you want to run to them again. Amen. Amen. No matter how mad they got last time you asked them when you want to ask them one more time. Amen. No matter how bad it was when you want to say just one more time. Pray. Oh, please pray. Amen. Time is going to end tomorrow. Amen. Thank God and you have got to pray. Amen. Thank God. Turn your heart over to Jesus. Amen. They may turn you away and they may act bad. Amen. But wouldn't it be good for you to know that you can lay your head down tonight? Amen. Knowing that you ask them one more time. Amen. One more time. That'll do you a lot of people. Amen. They're taking things for granted. Yes. Amen. Every opportunity that they had. I thought I talked to a backslider today. Thank God he's in bad shape. He turned his back seat on God, turned into an alcoholic. Thank God he's lost his job. Amen. Just going around pitiful shape. He said, John. He said, I ain't got no money. He said, I ain't got enough money to put gas in my van. Don't know if I'm going to make it home or not. Amen. As I sit there and looked at him, Johnny, my thoughts were this. Amen. You know how far that you come. Yeah. Amen. You know how far that you come. I said, Jeff. I said, we've got church every Sunday and every Wednesday night. I said, come down. Amen. Come on. And he just stood there and looked at me. Amen. That may be the very last time that I get to ask you. Hey man, but ain't it good that I ask him one more time? Oh, children. Hey man, thank God there's a time for the coming on the spoils. Hey man, the end of time is rolling around us. Hey man, and all these people, hey man, are in the world. Hey man, they give no thought to God and the ways of God and the love of God. Hey man, if me and you don't ask them, what will get them to think? Hey man, talk just a few days ago. Hey, there's a woman come over and uh, talk to us on a Bob Park and her mom come in behind her. And old big hoop here rings, hey, amen, and had her shorts on. She said, yeah, she said, I'm almost embarrassed to come over here. I said, you don't have to worry about me, honey. You don't have to worry about me. I said, but don't you wait too long. If I can tell you anything, don't you wait too long. She turned her head and dropped it and said, I hope not. I said, honey, I said, I hope not. Amen. Just one more time. Amen. We'll reach out to him. Just one more time. We'll ask him. Amen. Sit there. She raised her arm and she said, just hearing you talk. Gives me goosebumps. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, wouldn't it be good if we could have enough spirit about us? Amen. When I begin to talk to your children. Amen. If they feel something begin to stir in their hearts. Oh, we can get that way. Amen. If we steal away and we pray. If we turn live those godly lives that we know about. If we live those godly lives and call out on God, baby, like we know about. 
Amen. We can speak the words and they'll follow us. Amen. Noah didn't have to go look for his children. He didn't have to go look for his wife. Amen. All he had to do was say, get in. Amen. And they begin to march up that old plank. Amen. Come on now, boys. Amen. It's not too late right now. Amen. All of this is the instructions. All of this is the orders. Amen. But it's not over yet. Amen. We've got to get to the place where we get in a hurry. Man, our children, thank God they've lost their fear of God. Yes. Or so they say. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. They've lost their fear of God, but you let them get in trouble. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. I can use Bridget. Yeah. I don't believe she'll get mad at me. No. But I thought there's Donna. Yeah. Says she don't believe in God. Yeah. Don't believe in God. Yeah. I seen her when she was up there in the hospital, Keith. I seen her when she was up there and thought she was going to die. She believed in something. Come on now. I thought how she said, tell me that if the Lord would bring her out, she believed in it. And he did. Is that what she said? I thought how that she began to talk about she wanted to have a baby. She said if the Lord give her a baby, she believed. Is that right? Yeah. Amen. Thank God. Well, guess what she's got? A little baby. I thought how DCS is set in. Amen. That's what they was talking about a while ago. Thank God trying to find a place for that little baby. Amen. How many of you knows that I believe? Thank God. And I ain't going to say what she did was right because sin is sin. Amen. But how many of you knows that the Lord will make himself real to you? He will give you an opportunity. Whether you believe or whether you don't. You know. He will give you an opportunity. Amen. He will show you. His glory, I thought, as Moses went up on the mountain. Amen. How he got up there, he's alone with God, and he wrote on him big tablets. Yeah. Amen. How that Moses begged him, he said, God, he said, I just want to see your face. And, amen. God told him, he said, no man has seen my face and lived. Amen. But you know what, Bob? I believe that his heart was touched, Ethel. I believe that he touched the heart of God, and God said, if you'll cover your face. And, he said, when I go by, you said, I'll uncover it. Amen. And you can see my hinder parts as I go. You know why? Amen. Because he wanted to show him that he was as real as being you. Amen. Our children out there tonight. Amen. They may not understand just how real God is. But I'm telling you that men, you can live in such a way. Amen. That we can call upon the name of the Lord. Amen. And they can see the glory of God. Oh, they can see the glory of God about being you. Amen. Thank God when we speak the words. Amen. When we pray in our suffers. Amen. Thank God when we're in all together. Amen. We make you sing an old song. Amen. I tell you today, friend, that me and you can get a hold of this. Amen. But we've got to get in a hurry. We've got to get in a hurry. Thank God our children's lives depend on it. Amen. I thought as long as we pet their sin, they'll be happy where they're at. Amen. What do you mean, John? I don't pet my girl's sin. No. I don't pet. I don't pet it. Amen. Amen. But you know what? You can tell that there's something lacking. Just like when you go home, I'm sure you can look at your children and there's something lacking. Amen. I thought there's sis living up in Richmond, working in Lexington. But Ethel, I'm not lost hope with that little girl. Amen, because I remember when she used to sit back here on the seat. You know, I remember that time that the Lord moved on her. She sat back here and cried. Do you remember that? Come on now, I remember these things. Thank God that those are things that will continually come back to their mind. Why? Because the Bible says that sometimes we've got to stir up our pure minds by the way of remembrance. Amen. Thank God I can remember women. When Nathan would come to this altar and he'd pray. I remember when Morgan used to come here and pray. I remember when Billy used to come here and pray. Thank God and get in. I thought of all these things I can remember. I can remember their faces and I can remember how they acted. Amen. Thank God. And the closer we get, thank God to the ending of time. 
Amen. The more worried I get about those memories. Amen. Hey God, we've seen many a soul come walking through that door. Amen. We've seen many a one come through and nail and pray. Amen. We've seen them cry and call out on God and feel the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. But somewhere the devil came in. Amen. And he took a binders, boys, and he put them on them like they did Paul. Amen. Thank God there were scales that they didn't realize. Amen. Thank God the time is winding up. Amen. Thank God the ark is being built. Amen. When Jesus died upon that cross, the ark was built. Amen. And he called every man, woman, and child into the safety. Amen. God of the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God, there's too many people, amen, that want to say who can. And there's too many that want to say who can't. But I'm telling you, friend, we better tell all of them, amen, that he said that he would, that none would pass. Amen. That all would come under repentance. Amen. And get them in. world says you don't have to. The world says don't worry. Hey God, but this is what I say. You better worry like you never worried. Come on now. Time don't have to end. There's enough crazy people on the wrong way. <laughs> Their time to end. They'll go into your homes and they'll kill you in your house. Yeah. Come on now. They told an old story years ago about an old mission over in, I guess it was Africa. He was trying to mission to a bunch of headhunters, killers. Don't tell they said to him and his little wife. So they got settled down and so they started hearing the drums. Next, they saw the torches and all the people coming. They huddled down and they prayed. There was nothing they could do. They had no weapons, had no armies, nothing. Amen. But how many of you know that we've got something greater than anything this world has to offer? They said they got down and began to pray. They said they prayed, and after a little while, said the noise stopped. If I remember the story right, they said the next day, said here come the chief. Had an interpreter, and he wanted to know who them great big soldiers were that were standing outside that little hut. Who were they, and where did they come from? I'm telling you that me and you can get a hold of the greatest thing this side of heaven. Amen. Amen. He said that these things I do, but greater shall you do because I go to the Father. If that's right. And tonight I say I believe the word of God. I say that if any trouble comes on me, you know that I should be able to call the legion of angels down from heaven. Oh, God. I should be able to call down the legion of angels to surround me. Thank God and help me through any battle. Help me through any fight. Amen. I should be able to call on them. Amen. And see them. Why, John? Amen. Because when the old prophet was in the battle, amen, thank God, and the servant went out and he saw the enemy coming in the only way in and the only way out. He went and woke him up. Man of God, wake. They're here. Thy words, they're on us. And we can't get out. Let me tell you what that old praying man did. He said, Lord, he said, let his eyes see what I see. The Bible said that servant's eyes was open. And all around the rim of that mountain, you know what he seen, Randy? He seen chariots. Thank God and horsemen. Amen. All around them. Amen. And the Spirit of God come down into the midst of those enemies. And every one of them was blinded right where they stood. Amen. There was never an arrow thrown. There was never anything went off and nobody died. Amen. Thank God. You don't have to die, boys. But you can still see the result. Wouldn't it be good when the devil starts roaring at your house? Thank God that you could grab your good bottle of anointing oil and start with your head. 
Thank God. Get that feet. Get that mouth. That was important right there. Get that mouth right there. Let no guile be found in my mouth. You want to win them over? Stop talking in your own mind. Oh, God. You want to win them? Stop biting. Stop biting. Hey, man, you want them to know there's something going on? Still away in your prayer closet. Hey, man. Now, John, when them boys in the Bible, when they got serious, the Bible says that they stripped off and put on sackcloth. And they sat in ashes. Come on now. There's no feather goes up long. He said one time he needed to hear from the Lord. People think he's crazy. I think he's got the right idea. He told his wife, he said, I'm going out to the building. He said, don't come. Don't come get me. He said, I'll come out when I'm done. He said he got in there and he began to pray. He began to call out on God. He said it was like he lifted up out of his body. And he took a journey. Come on now, you tell that to people now, they think you on dope. Amen. I thought, as he told that, as he told that story, I didn't hear anything there where he's trying to lift himself up. But he talked about how that he had to fast and seek the Lord, and that's what he done. Sackcloth and ashes. Thank God, but I thought here, me and you, we can't even say time. We can't even take time to say, oh Lord. Amen, without getting mad. Amen. Come on now. I'd like to be like the old man. They come to fight him. He looked at him down and he said, ain't no fight in me. They spit on him. He said, ain't no fight in me. They hit him. Knocked him down. Old man raised up with tears, rolling down his face. He said, they ain't no fight in This world is used to fighters, boys. Yeah. This world is used to bickering and arguing. Yeah, but let me tell you something that they're not used to. Keith, they're not used to the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Boys. Get in a situation and that good Holy Ghost begins to cry out of you. Hey Amen. It'll put all your enemies. It'll put all of them to fly. Hey Amen. They won't know no part of that. I thought years ago the ambulance service went out on 80. Out towards Blackwater. Thank God there's a little boy. Thank God it wrecked. Bad wreck. I thought they loaded him up, Mom, and they loaded him wasn't going to make it. But they said his lips moving. That one ambulance person got down there, looked at others, and said, I don't know what they're saying. I don't know what they're saying. Nancy, that other ambulance driver, know a little bit about the Pentecostal faith. Know about the Spirit and the Spirit of God and the ways of speaking in tongues. Laying down there, she looked over, she said, it'll be all right. Said, he's speaking in tongues. Hey, man, he didn't make it. He didn't make it, but you know what? That mommy and that daddy got to hear Hey man, about the last words. Woo. The last words spoke was speaking to the Holy Ghost. Hey man, I'm telling you that there's something that me and you can get a hold of. Hey man, thank God whenever it comes down to that time. Hey man, and everything is about over. Hey man, we can look up with a shirt and say, I've done all that I can do. Hey man, I can look at them. Hey God, as they're slipping into the abyss. And I can say, I tried. I tried. You knew right now. And I hear what you said, Rid. You said, Tom, you said she may never turn to God. Is that what you said? But she wanted you to bring that baby to church to learn about God. Let me tell you this. Thank God that child right there may be the very reason 
that time that that boy gets in church. Amen. Come on now. We take these things for granted. We see these young people come into this church. We see them come from all over. Bad homes. Thank God people, the families and penitentiaries, all different kinds. But you know what I found? That years down the road, I thought there was another little girl here. I, I think it was uh, Jonathan's girl, maybe. Started talking to this girl. Started talking about where she went to church at, and she told her. She said, I went there. She said, does it sit up on a little hill? She said, I went there. She said, well, when did you go there? She said, I was in foster care. She said, I was in a foster care with Tina Henson. So she took me there. Come on now. That little girl may have went years and never thought about it. But as soon as she started talking, she remembered. I'm telling you, we never know who we're reaching out to. We never know who we're planting a seed in their life. Let God so wild that we want to get it mixed up with all the junk of this world. Hey man, this is a safe haven. This is a place that your family can come and not be judged because of what they done. Thank God that they'll be preaching the word. Thank God that they'll be told to come and pray. Amen. Come on, John. Why? To read one more thing and I'll try to hush. Hallelujah. Why? They went to this church and they told them they couldn't. You took them to the wrong place. Amen. Luke chapter 13. It says, There were present at the season some that told him of the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with the sacrifices. Yeah. Cut themselves. Mm -hmm. Put in their sacrifices to their fake gods. He said, and Jesus answered, he said unto them, suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans because they suffered such things. Now this is wrote in red. Jesus is saying this. He said, I tell you, nay, but except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Yeah. He said, I, or those 18 upon whom the tower of Siloam fell and slew them, think ye that they were sinners above all sinners that dwelt in Jerusalem. Jesus talking, he said, I tell you, nay, but except you repent, you shall all Likewise perish. Nancy, there's people that will tell Leon that he can't make it. They tell him that. But you know what I told him when I went out there? Did he tell you? I said, Dion, I said, you owe me. I wasn't talking about his money, Mom. I said, just come one time to a little church over here with your mom. That's all the pay I wanted. Hey Amen. That's all I wanted. Why? Because that was my, that was my one opportunity. I preached to him before. He said he was coming. Come on now. Is that a little bit of hope you needed, sis? You know why I feel? Because I took time to say God. We think that people don't listen. We think that people don't hear. But how many of you know that somebody's going to listen? Somebody's going to hear you. Amen. That little feller out on alcohol, he went to a homeless church. He got out and they treated him like a dog. I ain't got nothing bad to say to that man. He's in bad shape and he's the Lord. Amen. Your children and your family, my family, we need the Lord. But if we don't teach them, I'm telling you, when Noah spoke to, when God spoke to Noah, if he hadn't told his children, where would they have been? The Bible don't say God spoke to his children and said, hey, get on the mark with your dad. That's what we're waiting on, man. We're waiting on the Lord to do it. Noah told him, if I don't tell my children, I can't wait for somebody else to. Yeah. If they don't go in the church house, I can't expect somebody else to. Yeah. And all them good, sanctified, holiness Christians walking around 
with their nose stuck up in the air and their good dress and their good clothes and their good haircuts and good shaven faces. Won't even speak to them. That's it. Yeah. Oh, man. That's true. Come on. Go, go. Won't even speak. You can't help my children. Very long. When my oldest daughter was out, Pregnant out of wedlock, divorced from her man. Most of them good, fine, and oldest, sanctified people wouldn't speak to her yeah. because of who she was running with. But Gary Long was in at Walmart, didn't he? He said, Sissy, he said, I want you to know Brother Gary loves you. People can be a mess, Anthony. That man has been a mess. But when I see him, you know what I'm going to tell old brother Gary? That poor big brother loves him. Come on now. I don't know about you, but I think we're lacking to get them ready. Amen. Amen. What do you mean, John? In the church house, we've got to tell them wear the right clothes, do the right thing, talk the right way, pay your bills, work. Do all these things, and our people's dying lost. Amen. Our sinner children come to the altars, or come to the church and sit back there. And our altars is full with Christians trying to get rid of cigarette habits. Huh? Christians trying to get rid of cursing habits because the preacher's done laid it on them. Wouldn't it be good if we could get all that foolishness out of the way? Amen. and get down to business. It's become a place of go to get in. Huh? Amen. Let's get that five song ready. Come on now. You girls get them big old 12, 14 inch symbols I got and hammer them. Maybe somebody will shout. I can't play that guitar like some people. But I'm not trying to impress you. I'm just playing. Amen. If I hit the wrong chord, you'll tell me about it tomorrow, but tonight I don't care. Amen. I may sing a song, Mom, and miss every third word. But is it okay if I just sing it anyway? Come on now. That crazy son of my law, man, come to a birthday party at my house. He got a guitar out and handed it to me. Started singing. That long legged tattooed girl sitting right over beside of me. I'm using my Bible for old man. The Ten Commandments tell me what to do. The twelve disciples are my roadside. And Jesus will lead me safely through. Doesn't matter, she's out. I wanted her to hear that roadmap is not changed. Religions will change. Church people will change. But that word will never change, Keith. That Bible's been laid on this Bible stand as far back as I can remember, plumb back into the 70s. That same Bible. It had a little picture right there. I remember the picture. But see, Wilma, there's been many a man stand here since then. Still leaving. Gone from this life. Tommy Fraser, still around. Buck Sproles, gone. Joe Simpson, gone. I can just keep names them. Carl Henson, gone. Men that have stood behind this Bible stand. That word has not changed. Some of the men that have been here believe strong. 
Some of them was weaker than Bo Bill. But now, that's the men. Did you notice how I said that? The word has not changed. <coughs> it don't matter what church you go to. It don't matter what preacher you listen to. Come on now. The word does not change. When Junior's wife started coming around us, she had a lot of questions because she wasn't raised around people like us. The only answer I could give her was when you hear me preach, I said, you go home and you read it for yourself. I said, if you've got a question, you come to me and I'll answer it. She did. She done good for a while. Another one of them that I remember. When she get that big ugly cry on her, I remember that. Tears rolling down her face. But not just her, but her children. Come on now. We have got to get in a hurry. In, out, in, out, in, out. The way you train up a child is the way they will go. If you give up every time it gets hard, so will they. Yeah. Come on now. Everybody stand. I'm trying to finish. I asked a question a while ago. I said, if you knew tomorrow was the day. Every eye closed all over this house. If you knew that tomorrow was the day. Would you leave this parking lot without hitting a text or calling somebody's number? I know I would. I'd drive just as hard and fast as State Trooper got behind me if to follow me to the house. You can arrest me later. Right now, I got something to do. But you know what we'll do? We'll wait to a more convenient time. Oh, Lord. I'd like to ask you tonight if you could ask the Lord to renew in you an urgency for our people. Those that have backslid have not went too far. If there's breath in their body, they've not went too far. Those that have never bowed their knee, they've not went too far. I don't care what religion, I don't care what church, I don't care who they talk to and who they've not. Could you ask the Lord to give you a renewed urgency to get our people in? Amen. While they sing, come to this altar and pray. Everybody that will, gather around.